following in the footsteps of Henry Tudor, A History Journey from Pembroke to Bosworth by Phil Carides. So, like the title suggests, it's like a biography of Henry. Um, you get some family background. Notes that um, early life is hard to come by, so gives information that he has gathered. Um, some primary sources are placed um, throughout like his life, so they're in, um, some of it's included in there. Um, you get different people in situation, and like at the very end, because like with some of the books, I think including this one, that after like the index, they'll show photos. So instead of like, but um, a number of books do this, so it's just there it is. Um, I thought I had more. So you get stuff like um, The War of Roses, um, a bit on birth, adolescence, and exile, um, him returning and then coming um, to England. So, um, so it, it basically is where he started in, where he's born in exile to him becoming Henry, the Henry Tudor that um, we know. It isn't a totally long book, the con um, so you're getting about 128 pages of information before it gets into the conclusion and index and stuff. So, so like it's interesting for those who do have um, an interest in the Tudor age, Henry Tudor um, specifically, exiled kind of um, people in power, um, English monarchy, English history, so um, this could be um, something to have a look at if any of those have an interest to you. So yeah, following in the footsteps of Henry Tudor, happy readings.